In a July 2019 update, Pixelmator 1.4 gained a new Photos extension that is really impressive. Extensions in the Mac Photos app can be used when in edit mode and can be activated and deactivated in the Extensions pane of System Preferences. Notice I have two extensions for the standard Pixelmator app that are turned off. Also notice that these extensions are only for individual tools. The new Pixelmator Pro extension lets us access the entire Pixelmator Pro app, including layers. So let's take a look. When I select the Pixelmator Pro extension, we're taken into the full Pixelmator Pro interface. Notice that every tool is available here over on the right. And to the left, I also have layers. So we're essentially using the full Pixelmator Pro app within Photos. The only thing missing here is the Pixelmator Pro menu bar items. Since we're still technically using Photos, this doesn't change. So we'll need to use keyboard shortcuts like Option L to show and hide the layers pane, or Shift-Command-N to add a new layer. We can also add text, which will be put on its own layer. The real kicker with this extension is what happens when we save the changes. Usually, any layer information would be removed when you return to Photos. But with this extension, we can choose to preserve the edits. So if I want to edit this photo again with the Pixelmator Pro extension, it's going to open with the layers intact. As far as I know, that's a first for any Photos extension. So let's preserve the edits. We are now returned to the Photos interface and we can exit edit mode. Let's also quit the Photos app. Now we'll relaunch Photos and find the image that we edited with the Pixelmator Pro extension. Jump into edit mode and back into the extension and we can see that the layers are all still here. I can make any adjustments to the current layers or add new ones. Save changes again and I can choose to preserve the new edits. This is much easier than the Edit With option that's still available from Photos. There's no need to have a separate Pixelmator Pro file and then re-import the adjusted image to Photos. So if you're a Mac Photos app user, this could be the main way that you now use Pixelmator Pro, directly through the Photos app extension.